got our VVDI key tool max. We have a four button universal remote. And then we have our Chrysler five button remote smart key. So what we're going to do is we're going to program this universal four button to this five button. Yes, I do know I'm not going to have auto start, but that's fine. This is solely going to be a spare, probably my key. Because I can't leave the wife without a remote start, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to show some functions of this tool. First, we're going to put the factory key in the key fob holder. Go to transponder clone and we can read this transponder. Now, that's not what we're going to be doing, but we can see the code information for that key. Back it up some. We're going to go to vehicle remote. We're going to find Chrysler 200S or 200. Keyless go. That's the key we want. Now, this key, see that red light? I did put a battery in it. So you have to put a battery in these keys if you get any universal ones. Put it in there. Generate remote. And there we go. It is now generating to be a Chrysler key. And next we will program the key to the vehicle using the IM608. a couple times before it's done. Oh, another thing too to note, you want to be connected to Wi-Fi when using this tool. That's how it gets the information. So our key program has successfully burned. So next we're going to hit complete. And now this thing will be registered as a Chrysler. So if I want to retransponder, put it back in there. And we're going to retransponder. And now it's a 4A transponder unlocked we'll put our factory key back in retransponder 4a locked so now we're going to take this key and go program it to the car all right so we turned on the ignition already so this doesn't apply to us we can say okay we completed that step Now here, it's gonna ask me for my pin. So uh, you guys aren't gonna see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this procedure. I'm gonna turn the ignition off. All right, hazards are on and we'll be back. Actually, you know what? I'll just take you guys out of the loop here. So I have my password now I can come back we'll go to hot function we're gonna to go to smart keys learning guided we are going to start okay in execution number of keys to a pin code has been saved do you want to reread sure Now we're in key learning. 
Please make sure the ignition off all wireless devices, laptops, cell phones, other proximity keys are not close to the proximity key being programmed. Okay. Hold the proximity key near the center console of the servers and press OK. So here, I'm near the center console or the start stop button and complete the procedure within 30 seconds. So we're gonna hit OK. Repeatedly press and release the unlock button. Learning failed. Do you want to learn next key? Yes. Remove the current key. Prepare the key for program. Place into the ignition of the car as a slot. If not, make sure the ignition is off. Okay. Do it again. Let's see if we we'll get better luck this time. Learning successful. Do you want to program the next key? No. Please turn on the British flashes they've been on. So, that means, nice, just lock the car. All right, unlock, lock. Now, take our old key. Unlock, lock. Now I'm gonna remove this key from the car, right? The factory key. I'm just gonna throw it out here. And yes, I'm doing this at my house, obviously. It's nighttime. So now only one key in the car. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock, go start. And the car started. So, and that's how you program a universal key and then program it to the vehicle. So pretty freaking cool.